Howdy ho everybody and welcome back to Morning Coffee with John and Rhonda and today we're in a special county park. It's called Fort DeSoto County Park near St. Petersburg, Florida. And so today we're going to do a five point review of this county park. Stay tuned and we'll be right back. We are at Fort DeSoto County Park which is a lovely, lovely park and I highly suggest it. So. The first part of our view, no, actually, you know what, Rhonda? Yes. Let's look up again, because we've been doing this lately, what Google has to say about this park. Okay. Let me look here. Oh, gosh. They got high reviews. 4.9 out of 5 stars out of 526 reviews. I think that's pretty good. That means that there was a very small amount of people that did not enjoy it. And you know what? I think if they didn't join it, they were not looking for things to do. No, there is so much to do there. So, you know, now that we've looked it up and we kind of know what kind of reviews this park has, which has excellent reviews, let's look at our five point system. The first one is accessibility. How easy is it, one, to get to that park and two, get into the park? Well, you know, I'm directionally challenged. So as far as getting to the park, you can explain that better. As, very easy there's yes. there's routes from two different directions and actually one direction mm -hmm. but it's super easy to find and super easy to get in and not a lot of traffic nice park very well worth stopping actually better than some state parks and national yeah. force in that sense especially um, if you have pets oh well we're going to talk about accommodations here real soon so mm -hmm. one point for accessibility exactly so we're going to go from one point out of five let's go to number two Number two is the quality of the accommodations that they have in the park. So Rhonda, what kind of accommodations do they have in that park? Do they have room for dogs? Well, you know, if you're a dog lover, that's the park to go to. They have a dog beach, which is fantastic. You can let your dogs run free on the beach and frolic with all the other dogs. And we had friends of ours with us. They had two dogs. We have one, our little Jazzy. and. They had a heyday. There, and it's one of the few parks in Florida that actually there's no leash on this beach. Right. Most beaches won't allow you to have dogs. Mm -hmm. And you get a little nervous, especially since you don't know of the other dogs on the beach because you just don't know if there's going to be an aggressive one there. Our experience was good. Encountered only friendly dogs and friendly owners. So if you're not comfortable with your dog going to the beach, is there an, an, another alternative? Yes. They have what's called the Paw Playground. Oh, it's too huge. Too huge. Yes, it's separated, so it's 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 like you can have your small dogs on one side and your big dogs in the other. And not only that, they have showers for the dogs. So after they've been on the beach and in the salt water. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yes, you can bathe your dog, clean them up before you take them home, which I thought was great. Like a, mm -hmm. a vacation for them. Yes. A spa, a it's, spa, a it's dog. It's like a doggy daycare. A paw spa. <laughs> a paw spa, yeah. I know there is a campground. Can you have dogs in the campground? Uh, yes, you can have dogs in a campground. There's 238 sites. And of them, there's a, uh, a section that's portioned off for people with pets. So it's totally pet friendly. The whole park is not that way, but they really do dedicate a certain portion of the park to your pet. Yeah, because most of the park is on lead, having them on their leash. Mm -hmm. And so the beach is pretty much the only area that you really can have the dog off leash. So what else is there other than what I just mentioned? Campground, I mean, come on, think about it. The campground, uh, a dog beach, a paw section. What else is there? I can't even think of it. There's so well, much more. There's paved bike trails. Yeah, I about... think there was seven miles of paved bike trails. You're right. You have plenty of beach access. You know what? I'm so flustered because there's so much to do there. You're actually going to love it if you go there. <laughs> okay. It's not actually not very far from Sponge Docks. So they get a star for that. They, they definitely get a star for that. Let's go right to the campground. Mm -hmm. Now, um, the campground is not part of the state park system. It's part, part of the county. So you actually go online with the county and schedule that. But can you tell us a little bit about the park? Well, they have 238 sites. You know, some are dedicated to totally dog and some are just your regular campsites. They have a great laundry facility in their bathrooms and showers. It's an outdoor facility. 
to do your laundry, but very convenient and it looked very clean and well kept. And the cost per night we checked, this was December only, was $43 a night. And that's gonna, be, that's gonna fluctuate between what time of the year you're going there, if it's a busy season or summer, but $43 a night was for December. I did not think that was unreasonable because, you know, it's a county park. You know, most places in Florida during December is their high peak season can run between 70 and $110 a night. So 43 is not bad. So number four, we're gonna talk about the, the what the park is named after, and that's Fort DeSoto. There was actually a fort built that you can actually go and see, and it's at the very end of the park. So you have to drive to it, and there's walking areas around it, a lot of history around it, and then there's actually a building with a museum in it. It was closed on our day, so we didn't go into it. But the fort was actually built in 1890 and it was completed in the 1900s. But originally it was built to protect the coastline, I believe, I think I said this, but a coastline for this, during the Spanish-American War. But after that, they didn't need the fort. The fort actually was shut down for a while. And then the area was reopened in 1938 to 1941 as a bombing area so planes could practice bombing so there might be some loose shells in the area but we didn't see any warnings or anything <laughs> worried but it was used for world war ii as a bombing raid area but after that it sat there dormant a long long time but in 1963 the county bought the park and made this into the park that we see today so it's a very wonderful park the only downfall that i have about this park and i'm gonna now this is what i'm gonna bring up we had a problem, Rhonda. Mm -hmm. We had a big problem. So we pull into the parking lot. And again, the fort part, it doesn't cost you anything to see, but we pulled in and we locked everything up. And the, the our friend that was with and Rhonda, which we never ever, I never ever see Rhonda leave her purse in the vehicle, but also the friend did too. And, but they hit it. We went in and looked at the fort. And while we were looking at the fort, how long would you say we were gone looking at the fort? Uh, I would say 20 minutes. Right, so we get back. Our car looked normal. Um, my door was locked, so I unlocked it, got in. I noticed my glove compartment was open and I thought, well, maybe a passenger hit it with their knee and popped it open, so I closed it. As the two women get in the back, what did you find, Rhonda? Well, I thought it was odd because the couple we were with, her and I were sitting in the back. All of a sudden I noticed my purse was on her side and her purse was on my side. And we kind of blew it off thinking, oh, we must have somehow messed that up. We blew it off, got in our car, started leaving. And then by the time we get closer to home, they were gonna go and pick something up at the grocery store and so were we. And I get to the grocery store, I look in my purse for my debit card, and it's gone. And I'm thinking, oh, maybe I left it in my back pocket in another pair of pants or something. So I didn't think anything of it, so I used my Apple Pay on my phone to pay for the bill. Well, I get back to the car, John's coming out of the other store to pick up the other things we needed. He's talking on the phone to somebody about a credit card being stolen, and I'm thinking to myself, oh gosh, my first thought was, oh my gosh, I bet mine was too because I couldn't find it. So you, we immediately, you immediately got online mm -hmm. from the car. Yes. And notified our bank. They already had gone to Best Buy yes. and used our card. Yes. And nobody they, verified. <laughs> nobody verified anything. They had already spent $850 on our debit card and a lot more out of their our friends debit oh card. yeah there was over a thousand on their card but thank goodness we have a really good bank and they reimbursed us so mm -hmm. yeah um, all is well all is but, well so the yeah. lesson learned out of this Rhonda is be aware of your surroundings make sure things are locked well but in this case we were but mm -hmm. they were able to get it in and make it look as if nobody got into our car right so and that gave them time enough to run to the store yeah. Keep an eye on your stuff. Don't ever right. leave anything valuable in your car. Lesson learned for us. You'd think that by the time I was 16, mm -hmm. we'd figure that out. Well, thankful our 
our banking system, USAA, was super fantastic. Yep. We had our money back within four days. Yeah, yeah. So it was so, great. Lesson learned. Don't yeah. do what we did. Mm -hmm. All right, last one. I think we actually caught it was cost. So that was number five. And cost doesn't cost you anything to get in the fort. Doesn't cost you anything to go to the dog beach. The only thing it costs you is go to the campground. Right. Which is not that bad. Which is not that bad. So, well, that's all I have. We gave this park five out of five. Excellent. We agree with what we saw on the internet. Mm -hmm. So that's it. We gave them five out of five. So Rhonda, as we always say, if you like what you saw today, even if you didn't like what you see today, boop that button. And boop the bell if you want to subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Take care now.